mga kamatlets, this is Teacher Robert. Welcome to our first video. So our topic in this video is all about sets. Okay, sets. In this video, you will learn how to define and illustrate a well-defined set and to identify the elements of the given set. You will learn also about subsets, universal sets, null sets, and cardinality of sets. And you are going to learn also the union and the intersection of sets and the difference of the two sets. Have you ever wondered how the things that surround you are being grouped? For example, in this uh, group of living organisms, this example so we are going to group which of these which of these living organisms belongs to uh, that group so for example which among of these organisms are amphibians when you see amphibian uh, the, these are the animals that lives both water and land, by land and water. So, asaman anak nga animal. So, we are going to determine. So, this, this prag, no? This prag, there are three prags. These animals are, uh, belongs to the group of amphibian. Grupo sa mga amphibian. So, kini sila tolo. Then, another is, which of these animals are uh, feathered animals? But pasabot ka ng dunay mga balhibo. Uh, which of these organisms belongs to feathered animals? So, this one, the chicken, ini, the duck, is that the duck? I think so. This is the duck. So, and then this little penguin. Okay. So they are now feathered animals. Then, so this this organisms belongs to the feathered animals. So the group of feathered animals. Another is, which of these animals can live uh, in water? Unsa man ng mga animals ang mga, or these organisms can live in water? Asa man ana? So, this one, the shark, the fish, another fish. Then, these frogs. As I've said, frogs belongs to Pibian that both can live both water and land so we can consider frog also as uh, belongs to the group of organisms that can live in water huh? so nga na mag grupo uh, di kanang kumbaga imong i-identify which of these things belongs to a particular group and that group has uh, a, a particular characteristic no? now the groups are called sets set may be taught as a collection of objects but the main characteristic of set in mathematics is that it is a well defined so Basi magkaingong mga set collection ra sa object mga kuan ra ka ng mag-collect ra ka ng object di grupo ra nimo no as simple as that as simple di, as simple as that as you group that object that ma, ma na nay set no yes that that's correct but the main characteristic of set in mathematics in mathematics as i've said the main characteristic of set is that it is well defined 
Kung saan yung well-defined? Well-defined set, in mathematics, set is a well-defined group of collection of objects that share common characteristic. So, kini si set, dili ni siya basta-basta nga grupo. Sa mathematics, dili ni siya basta-basta nga a grupo, basta magkagrupo-grupo na lamang ka. But rather, set in mathematics is a well-defined because it it is a object, a group of object, or a group of things. No? It is a group that share a common common characteristic. So, pareho sila characteristic as uh, as an example, as we showed an example, a previous example, umuingong ka og living organism belongs to uh, rip, uh, no, amphibian. As I said, amphibian. So, the common characteristic is bisag unsa to siya nga organism, basta kay Amphibian siya. Unsa ang amphibian? Leaves, both water and land. So, kana siya ang common characteristic. Uh, uh, feathered animals. So, the common characteristic is the feathered animals. Bisan unsa sila nga animals, basta kay na ay feeder, na ay balibo. So, belongs to that group. Huh? Another is animals nga can live by land. Bisan unsa nga mga animals nga maka mabuhi sa land. The object, no? The object, those object, those collected object contained in a set or a group. Kato sila nga mga object nga naa sa grupo or naa sa set. Tawgon si ja og element. They are called elements. A set can be named using a capital letters like A, B, C, D to Z. So in short, a set can be named using the capital letter in the alphabet. No, the capital letter in the alphabet. And we use braces. No, this symbol, meaning a symbol, this is what we call the braces. No? to group the elements of set separated by commas. For example, we have set A whose elements are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So, that A there, capital letter A, is the name of the set. This is the name of the set and can be read as set A. Set A is that. No? Basahon si as set A. And those are the braces. Ag again, those braces uh, group, no? Mga si Jai mag-grupo, mag-contain. Mga si indication, it indicates that na mga si Jai kuhan sa set, mga uh, si Jai mga teritoryo sa set Boundary is a set. No? Si Jay mag-contain sa element. Kanang mga number na sa ito nga, those 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, that's separated by commas, those are what we call element. So, if a set contains many elements, so kung daghan ko nga elements, we often use three dots. Kung grabe ra kadaghan ang elements, magamit na taong three dots. That dots, kanang tulong nga dots, called ellipses. Tawagun sa jaw ellipses. For example, if we are going to write the set of a numbers that is less than or equal to 1,000, kadaghan, no, kadaghan, if we are going to write the set of a numbers that is less than or equal to 1,000, grabe kadaghan kung atong iswat. So, we are going to use ellipses. So, set A is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, dot, 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 comma, 1,000. Ellipses ang atong gigamit. Now, both pasabot sa ellipses, it indicates that there are elements in the set that have not been written down. 
So, buta sa buta ng mga ellipses ka ng dot diha, buta sa buta doon na pa yung mga element sa set nga wala na ito gisuwat, gumikan kay arang kadaghan. No? So, buta pa sa buta ng atong set A, number si Jagikan sa 1 to 1,000. Nakuha? So, kanang atong ellipses, buta pa sa buta na ay 7 diha, 7 to 999. Na diha. So, grabe ko nga itong isuwat, taas ka ajo. Mapuno. No? Grabe ka taas ang atong set. Sobra kadaghan ng elements. Mao nang magamit ang ellipses para mo mo gamay-gamay ang one ba pero same the contain or the number of elements are the same ra. Pero wala man nato gisuwat tanan. So those are ellipses. It indicates that there are elements in the set that have not been written down. For example, sa so well-defined set, well-defined set, ang example sa so well-defined set are the set of primary colors. An example of well-defined set. The set of primary colors. Primary colors, what are the primary colors? So, we have set M is equal to, or set M has an element of red, yellow, blue. Red, yellow, blue. Those are the primary colors. Second example is the set of all even numbers. Set of all even numbers. What are the even numbers? So set E has an element of 2, 4, 6, that, that, that. Okay, there are too many even numbers. Takan ka ajong even number. So that's why we use ellipses. So these are the elements. So we represent this set as set E. Set E. So number three example is the set of all multiples of five. So again, multiples of five. There are so many numbers that are multiple of five. So we use Y uh, to represent our set. So we have set Y as an element of five, ten, fifteen. That, that, that. So, we use the ellipses. Gamit na huwag ellipses. Kay sobra kadaghan. So, but pa sabot, again, but pa sabot aning ellipses, it indicates that there are still elements of the set that has, has not been, wala na ito gisuwat. Pero na, ah. So, what's next? 2, 15. 20, 25, 30, 35. Daghan ka so on and so forth. So, daghan, mao nang nagamit ta huwag ellipses. Next is the set of letters or the set of letter in the word arrange. So set of letter, letter man ang sa words ng arrange. So we have, so we will represent O as uh, to represent our set. So we have set O has an element of the letter A, R, N, G, and E. Sir. Have you noticed that uh, ang R is sara? A of A puncher is sara? Hmm. Again, the set of letter man, set of letter in the word arrange. So, kanang mga nagbalik-balik, dili na nato ikon. Kung ano magbalik na po si Jack, same element raman si Jack, pariho raman nga element. Pariho raman nga element. Nakuha. Mauro man nga element. So, element uh, A. Na ano man si A? R. So, isa rin mo represent nila. No? Isa rin mo represent nila. So, those are the examples of a well-defined set. Now, let's proceed to the example. What are these? Kung saan man the examples are not well-defined? Kanang not well-defined set, sir? For example, the set of famous dancers. Can you determine... The set of famous dancers who are famous. Huh? It is uh, it is difficult to determine the famous because uh, people might be a conflict on on the definition of what is famous. On sa nang famous, how famous is famous? Ano man tamag differ? Ano man ta mag, uh, mag <coughs> magkalain? 
How famous is famous. Kay pwede man ko magbutang og bisag kinsa ra nga dancer. Mga ahong na ilhan. Basta kay famous na sila. Di ba? Pero sa imong pagtan-aw dili kay si the famous. So magka-conflict ta. So mao nang not well defined set. Mangutan pangutan mo na to how famous is famous. Unsa man ang famous? Second is the set of punctual student in your class. Punctual. How punctual is punctual? Mo ni pangutan na. How punctual is punctual? The set of honest people. How honest is honest? Unsa man ang honest? Nga na man siya. Not will define na siya. The set of all large number. How large is large? Unsa man kadak po ang imong gusto nga ihibutang na ho? Doon na ba imong basihan? Wala, di ba? Large ra. Ingon ra nga large. Umuingon ko ugwan. Large naman na. Two. Large naman na. Sa, para sa ho. Pero dili na ay large para sa imo. So it is not well defined. Mangutan naman na dyan ka. Pangutan naman na dyan. How large is large? Unsa ka dako? Unsa man ka dako? Unsa man nga dako? Nga na ganit? Murag na question mark ba? Number five is the set of nice students in your class. How nice is nice? So may basihan na to sa pagka nice. Di ba? So tunay one. Murag. It is not a will define. Tunay question nga mabilin. How nice is nice? Six is the set of good writers. How good is good? Ha ha ha. Kung sabay ba siya na ito para makonsider nga good writer siya? Wala, di ba? Wala yung ibutang. It is not well defined. Uh, way klaro. Kung maga, ah, way klaro. Kung uh, wala good writer. Uh, pwede ako, good writer. Ikaw, good writer. Pero sa uban, agpagtan ako delita mga good writers. Ano siya? How good is good? Kinahanglan, Klaro, doon ay basihan. Good writer sa naman ang butang niya. Okay. Let's proceed to universal set. Universal set. The universal set represented by the capital letter in the alphabet U is the set that contains all object under consideration. So, kinisid dyan ang mga set, kini siya nga set klase, universal set siya. Uh, siya tanang nag-contain sa tanang object under consideration. Like for example, uh, kung may ka counting numbers, the set of counting numbers. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, kadaghan. All counting numbers belongs to universal set. Kagani na, ang ipakita ang example, katong nga picture, the living organism, we can consider this one as a universal set. Kaya maura may atong gihatag. Okay, the universal set. Example of universal set is set U contains the set of whole numbers. What are the whole numbers? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. There are too many whole numbers. That's why we use ellipses. Ellipses. So second is the set U contains the set of all letters of the English alphabet. So that set U is equal or has an element of A B C D E F G H H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y Z. Those are the letters of English alphabet. So, mo ni si Jay itong mga elements sa atong universal set from E to Z. Exa another example is set U contains the set of days of the week. So, pwede siya. 
Universal set siya ang set sa mga adlaw sa semana. So, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. So, those are the <laughs> those are the uh, days of the week. What is this empty or null set? Kung saan yung empty or null set? Kung doon ay universal set, doon na po yung empty o null set. A set with no element is an empty set or null set. Wala si Jai element Well, it is a set, still set. It is still a set, but it has no element. Wala si day element na sulod. Tawag nga nga set as null set o empty set. So the symbol for empty set is that the braces, wala yung sulod nga braces or kanang zero nga na ay kuhit ka ni si Jack. So these are the example of Uh, these are the symbol for the empty set. Example of empty set. The set T is the set of counting numbers between 1 and 2. Do na ba counting numbers between 1 and 2? Wala, di ba? So, we have set T is equal to is empty set. Empty set, wala yung element. Wala yung itong ibutang kayo. Wala may number nga or counting numbers nga between 1 and 2. No? Wala man. So, empty siya. Second is, set I is the set of months with 35 days. Doon na ba'y buwan nga 35 days? Wala, di ba? So, si set I, ang set I na to is an empty set. Wala'y mabutang na to nga buwan. Okay. Sabot. Number three is, set M is the set of cars with 60 doors. Sakjanan nga sa isinta ka buok sira. Doon na ba? Wala. So, M is an empty set. Has no element. Wala ay mabutang. Example, another example is set B is the set of flying castles. Flying castles. Wala, di ba? So, we have set B is the, is an empty set. Wala ay mabutang na itong element. Uh, set E is the set of crying tree, trees. Do na ba? Wala. So we have set E is an empty set. Wala yung mabutang na ito nga element. Okay. Let's proceed to subsets. Subsets. Subset given any two sets A and B, if every element in A is also an element in B. Then A is a subset of B. So, the symbol A is the subset of B. Kanang symbol niya. Yan eh. <coughs> We have A is read as A is a subset of B. No? So, we have two elements, uh, two sets. We can say that A is a subset of B if every element in A kung ang tanang element ni A maupo yung element ni B. Nakuha? Na A kang B. So, every set is a subset of itself. A subset. <coughs> kung doon ay duha ka element or doon ay duha ka set rather then pareho sila o element sulod pareho sila pareho sila og element that element we have set A pareho og sulod kang set B but pasabot si set A is uh, a subset of set B huh? or si set A is a subset of set A because every set is a subset of itself of course mo man di ba A subset of a given set that is not the set itself is called a proper subset. So, kung doon ay set nga ang idang mga element dili pareho or di, ang idang element na adid, uh, naa sa isa ka el, sa set pero dili tanan. Dili tanan. Dili tanan ni dyan element to adid to. No? That is, 
what we call the subset, but it is a proper subset. So we have proper subset. Set A is a proper subset of set B, written as A subset of B. If there is at least one element in B that is not in A, na kung si A mahimo proper subset of set B, kung donay element ni B at least one element ni B nga wala kang A pero ang tanan element ni A to a kang B Uha. okay consider the sets consider the sets for example consider the sets para maklaro we have set A has an element of A B C and set B has an element of A B C D ha huh? So we can say that A is a proper subset of B since its element in A is also an element in B. And there is at least one element in B that is not in A. So makaingon ko na nga si A is a proper subset ni B kay tanawa ang tanang element, all the elements of, ni set A na akang B. ABC na po ABC si B. Hindi adunay element ni B nga wala kang A which is D. Di ba? D is an element of set B. D is an element of B. The D is not an element of A. D is the element kang A to as siya kang B. So but pa sabot, it is a proper subset. A is a proper subset of B. Kay dili man uh, ang no, ang tanang element na A to a kang B. Unya dunay element ni B nga wala kang A. Ha? Ano siya proper subset ang tawag ana. Ang katong subset ra jud prop uh, ang subset ra uh, A is a subset of A. Ana siya. A is a subset of A. A is a subset of itself. So, ha? Mato si Jay, subset. Proper subset is katong walay kanin si Jack ang A ijang element to akang B. Kung ang element ni B doon ay element ni B nga wala kang A. That is proper subset. Okay. Consider the set again. We have A is an empty set and B is has an element of A, B, C. Ang atong set A is an empty set. Set B has an element of A, B, C. Now, we can say that A is a subset, is a proper subset of B. Proper subset si Jack ay since A is an empty set, empty set man si A, and has no element. Has no elements. This means that it is impossible to find an element in A that is not in B. So, impossible na to makita kung nga element nga gikan kang A nga wala kang B. Huh? And there is none that can fill to be elements of B. Oh, wala po tayo makita nga maka fill na to nga makuanta nga Mostly element kang B. Ah. Wala man siya element si A, si A. Wala siya element dito makita kang B. No? Kanya, kining si B, yung satisfy siya, no? Ang element ni B, wala po kang A. So therefore, it is a sub proper subset. By the same reasoning, the empty set is a subset of every set. So, si empty set, is also a subset of every set. Again, kaganina niya yung tanga. Every set is a subset by itself. So, ang tanang set is a subset sa itang kaugalingon. Karo ni Ingo the empty set is a subset of every set. Ang empty set ko no, subset sa tanang set. Oha. 
So, for example, determine the possible subsets of set of the set R whose elements are 1, 2. So, there uh, we have the sets R whose elements are 1 and 2. So, we have to determine the possible subsets of the set R. So, the solution, the possible subsets R. So, since si R has two elements, so, magsugod tag two elements. 2, 1, and 0 element. So, we have 2. The subset is 1, 2. 1, 2. Ang set is 1, 2. Itself. Diba? Mauma na si R. 1, 2. Then, kung tag-usa-usa, we have 1 element whose ano, set whose element is 1 and set whose element is 2. Diba? That is the subset. And also, of course, we have set whose element is uh, who, set who has no element. Wala, wala si Jai element. As I've said, every set is a subset by itself. And we have every empty set. Empty set is a subset of every set. So, sa empty set, subset ana. So, we have, there are four, one, two, three, four. There are four subsets of this set R. Upat ka set sa kanang set R. So, example to, we have, we have the set O, whose elements are red, blue, and yellow. So, we have to find the possible subsets of O. So, there are... So, since set O has three elements, magsugod po tao three elements. Kay... Magsugod man tayo kay... Subset may itong ipangita. Ano yung basa? nga. Ang subset... O no? Ang set is a subset. So, the given set is a subset. Si set O is a subset sa itong kaugalingon. So, kung kung sa element ni O, mo po element sa ijang subset. For example, we have, in three elements, we have red, blue, and red, blue, yellow. <coughs> no? Red, blue, yellow. Sa two elements, we have red, blue, red, yellow, and blue, yellow. Sa one element, we have red, blue, yellow and then we have the zero element the empty set so and you know so if we are going to count the subsets we have one two three four five six seven eight there are eight subsets of our set o uh, these are the subset again these are the possible subsets there are eight possible subsets of set o we have Example 3, we have set S. Set S has an element of 3, 6, 9, and 12. 3, 6, 9, 12. There are four elements of our given set S. So the possible subsets of set S are, we have, in the four elements, we have, okay, four elements, man, so we'll start as a four. We have four, we have 3, 6, 9, 12. Same as the elements given of, of the given sets. So, three elements, we have 369, 3612, 3912, 6912. So, two elements, we have 3639, 312, 6, So, one element, we have 3, 6, 9, and 12. So, zero is an empty set. No? So, if we are going to count, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. There are 16 uh, possible subsets of set S. We have set E. We have the elements, the set A has an element of M A T H. So there are four. Again, there are four 
elements of set E. So, we have the possible subsets of set S are shown in this table. So, we have in the four elements, we have M, A, T, H. The three elements, we have M, A, T, M, A, H, M, T, H, A, T, H. We have in two elements, we have M, M, A, M, T, M, H, A, T, A, H, T, H. In one element, we have one element we have M A T H, and the zero element is la, no empty, empty set. So there are again there are sixteen possible subsets of set S. Okay, we have number five example number five we have uh, set J. Set J. <coughs> we have G is equal to, or G has an element of 0, 2, 4, 6, 8. So, there are five elements of set J. We have the possible subset of set J. We have starts of 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. So, yung niya, again, yung ani magingita o subset para dili maglibo, you have to make table. So, kung asa, kung pila ka bo ang, or, element anak ka mag so good so five elements so five elements to zero okay so zero and five elements zero two four six eight so four element zero two four six zero two four eight zero two six eight zero four six eight and two four six eight we have so three elements we have zero two four zero two six zero two eight zero four six zero four eight zero six eight and we have 246, 248, 268, and 468. So, three ele uh, two elements, we have 0, 2, 0, 4, 0, 6, 0, 8, 2, 4, 2, 6, 2, 8, 4, 6. We have 4, 8. We have 6, 8. In one element, we have 0, 2, 4, 6, 8. And then we have in zero element, we have empty set. So, in the given set, there are 32 possible subsets of set J. Account, if this, there, if this is 32, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. There are 32 subsets of set G. Okay, complement of a set. What's the name complement of a set? The complement of a set written as A prime kanang a tapos na ay apostrophe sa ano na ay kama sa bubaw uh, we have that what's called a complement or the complement of a set a or another is we have a prime is the set of all elements in the universal set that are not in set a so kini sila ang set kuno sa mga elements nga naa makita nato sa universal set Nga wala na ito makita sa set A. Mauna si the complement of set A. No? So, for example, we have the given, given. The universal set is as an element of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Kaning U, di ha amo na universal set. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And we have set A is 1, 3, 5. Set B is 1, 5. Set C is an empty set. So, we have to find the complement of set A, the complement of set B, and the complement of set C. Now, we have to, okay, in solution sa A, ang A complement or A prime or the complement of A is the set of L of all element that is in the universal set that is not in set A. 
all elements in a universal set that is not in set A. So, but pasabot, atong basihan si set A. A na to has an element of 1, 3, 5. Atong ikumpara kang universal set. So, 1, 3, 5. So, unsa may wa kang set A. 2, 4. So, mauna si day atong complement of A. So, the complement of A is 2, 4. But pasabot, the elements 2 and 4 wala sa kang A. Wala kang set A. Pero na kang universal. So, ha? Okay. Kang set a solution B. We have to find the complement of B. So, the complement of B is, okay, the set B has an element of 1 and 5. 1 and 5. 1, 5. So, ang wala, ang mga elements nga wala kang B is 2, 3, 4. 2, 3, 4. 2, 3, 4. So, therefore, the complement of B is 2, 3, 4. Solution C. We have we have to find the complement of set C. The complement of set C or the C prime. We have C or the set C is an empty set. So empty set man si ja. So wala. So uh, si universal set. So buto sa butanan element ng universal set. Wala kang set C. Buto pa sa but C, C prime is has an element of the complement of C C has an element of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 tanan element but pasabot C, C complement of C is equal to the universal set okay. the cardinality of set what is this cardinality of set what is the cardinality of sets the cardinal number of set A denoted by N Kanang N, A, D, H, A, na N nga gamay, small letter N. That is read as the cardinality of set, the cardinality of set A. Cardinality of set A. So, it is the number of elements in the set A. Thus, in our set A, whose, element is, whose elements are 1, 3, 5, 7, the cardinality is 4. The cardinality of set A is equal to 4. Because set A contains 4 elements. There are 4 elements, so but pasabot, the cardinality is 4. Okay. For example, set D is the set of vowels in the alphabet, English alphabet, vowel. So we have D is has an element of A, E, A, 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 E, I, O, U. Those are the vowel in English alphabet. No? So, the cardinality of set D is equal to 5. Nga 5 man? Lima man kabuk ang ijang element. So, there are 5 elements in set D. So, therefore, the cardinality of set D is 5. Second example is the set R is the set of letters in the word difficulty. So, word letters Roman in the word difficulty. So, we have set R, we have D, I, F, Saraka F. Those uh, are to represent only the letter F. Okay. We have C, U, L. T and Y. So those are the set or those are the letters in the word difficult. Those are the letters that can be found in the word difficulty. So si I usara ka ay atong ibutang to represent I. Isara man ka. Pariho raman gahapon. Pariho raman sila I. So isara ibutang. Si F. Pariho man sila isara to represent ra sa F. So those are the letters. No? We have so, set R has an element of D-I-F-C-U-L-T-Y. So, the cardinality of set R is 8. Anong 8 man? There are 8 uh, elements on the set R. 8 elements. 
Number three is set M is the set of odd numbers between 1 and 3. Set of odd numbers between 1 and 3. So the solution, ang atong set M is an empty set. Why? Because wala may odd numbers nga 1 and 3. Si 1 o si 3 is an odd number. Pero wala may odd numbers nga between nila. Ang numbers nga between 1 and 3 is 2 man, 2. And 2 is an even number, not an odd number. So, wala. Walay odd numbers between 1 and 3. So, empty. Walay element nga ibutang na to kang set M. So, but pa sabot, the cardinality of set M, but pa sabot, 0. 0 siya. But pa sabot, walay element. O, walay sulod. Okay. Set E is the set letters in the word survivor. Uh, survivor. So we have E is S U R V I O. So isara ibutang na to kung magnay magdubli isara ibutang. So the elements there are 1 2 3 4 5 6 there are elements 6 elements of set A. So therefore the cardinality of set A is 6. So mao na cardinality the number of elements in the set. Equivalent sets. On sa maning equivalent sets? Two sets that contain exactly the same number of elements. So, duha ka sets nga nag contain exactly the same number of elements. For example, we have set A, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and set B has, has an element of 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. So, the number of elements of set A and set B are the same. So, there are five elements. Both, both sets contains five elements. So, therefore, A is equivalent to B. A is equivalent to B. In symbol, in symbol, A is equivalent to B because both set contains five elements. Equal sets. Ano equal sets? Equal sets are two sets that contain exactly the same element. Kaganina, sa equivalent, contain exactly the same number of elements. Karon sa equal set, contain exactly the same element. Duha ka set, nga pariho o mga element. For example, we have set A is equal, has an element of C, E, R. Set B na to has an element of E, R, C. E, R, C. So, as we observe, pariho sila, both elements, pariho na ay A, pariho na ay R, o pariho na ay C. So, both elements contain exactly the same, or both sets contain exactly the same elements. So, therefore, A is equal to B because both sets contain exactly the same elements. The order of element does not matter. So, bahalag, tuwad baliskad na, nagrambol ng tikas, Pero pariho sila, pariho raman sila. Pariho raman sila ng element. So, they are equal. Operation subset. So, let's proceed to the operation subset. Okay. Operation subset, we have the union, the intersection, and the difference. We have the union of sets. We have, in symbol, we have that murag yu, sija, that is union. Is the set containing all elements that are in A or in B? So, uh, mon is the definition. Sa intersection, ang symbol na to baliktad. Baliktad nga yu. Baliktad nga yu. Okay. Baliktad nga you we have definition the set that consists of all elements that are both in A and B. So the difference is we have the symbol kanang minus dia ah, symbol the difference subtraction is a set of elements that in A that are not in B. Okay, we have the union of sets. Union of sets. 
The union of sets A and B written as A union B, that symbol, is the set of elements that are members of A or members of B or members of both A and B. For example, we have if A, to not I set A and set B. We have set A as an element of 1, 2, 3 and ang atong set B do na element nga 1, 2, 4, 5, 6. Then, A union B, put pa sabot, gani, may kagiyon yun, isagol na to ang, isagol na to ang, ibuo na to ang element ni A, o ni B. Uh, that is A union B. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 na. Uh, C1, Ito, butang na to pareho man sila na iwan kukuhao na to si 1 2 uh, isa rin ibutang na to again pareho man sila na ito isa rin ibutang na to na to so na 3 si A kaya na may 3 so butang na to 3 so 4, 5, 6 man kang B butang na to 4, 5, 6 again tipuno na to uh, ang ilang mga element that is union tipo Kung na'y magbalik-balik, usara ibutang. Second example is, if A has an element of A, B, C, D, E, and set B has an element of A, E, I, O, U, then A union B is A, B, C, D, E, I, O, U. Sagol. <coughs> Pariho man sila na'y A, A o E, isara ibutang. Tapos, gikapitanan. So, we have example. Another example is, if A has, a, is a, has an element of Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and set B has an element of Saturday and Sunday, then union A is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So, the whole, uh, all the day, all days of <coughs> the week. Okay, we have the intersection of sets. We have the intersection of sets. We have the intersection of two sets, A and B. So we have written as A uh, intersection of B is the set of all elements common to both sets A and B. Kaganina si Union, kung atong si Union, kung ang union atong tibuon sa si intersection uh, atong i-determine katong sets nga common sa buha, duha ka uh, sets but when you say common uh, pareho sila element nga pareho na dunay pareho na akang A ug kang B pareho sa duha ka set for example we have in for example we have <coughs> uh, set a is an element of 1, 2, 3, and B is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So as you observe, both elements has 1, 2. 1, 2. Do na 1, 2. So therefore, A intersection B is 1, 2. Pariho man sila na 1, 2. O, muna intersection. Kung kwa na to ang element nga, pariho, uh, bo, both, do, do, na, do na ang both, uh, do na ang duha kaset both sets uh, do na do na ana nga element na ana nga element okay. in example 1 we have 1 and 2 the elements are 1 and 2 the intersection of a and set set a and set b is 1 and 2 pareho man sila do na 1 and 2 we have number 2 is if a is a b c d a and b, set b is <coughs> a e i o u so, pareho man sila na ay A o E. The common nila, pareho sila na ay A. A o E. A o E. So, therefore, A intersection B is A and A E. So, another example is, if A is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and set B is Saturday and Sunday, then A intersection B is an empty set. Kaya wala man sila common. 
element no common elements both set has no common element so set A and set B has no common element so we have empty set ang atong intersection empty set okay the difference of two sets the difference of two sets are is the difference of set A and B written as A minus B is a set of elements in A that are not in B is a set of elements in A that are not in B. Na? So, when you see difference of set A and set B, mo ni si day set sa element nga na kang A, elements kang A nga wala makita kang B. For example, if A is equal, uh, if A has an element of 1, 2, 3, o ang atong set B has an element of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, na atong i-determine kang set A so kung may yung kag A minus B A minus B but pasabot si A ang atong basihan mangita kag element dire nga wala kang B ha? so kung may yung kag 1 na may kang B 2 na apoy kang B 3 wala kang B but pasabot A minus B is equal has, is 3 only 3 the element 3 is uh, the only element nga wala kang b ha? while kung balik taro na to b minus a so basihan na to si b but pasabot mangita tag element dire kang b nga wala kang a so 1 wala kang naaman 2 naapod kang a 4, 5, 6 wala so, 4, 5, 6 ang ato yung butang. So, 4, B minus A. Okay. Another example is, if A has an element of A, B, C, D, E, and set B has an element of A, E, I, O, U, then A minus B is mga element ni A nga wala kang B. So, A na aman. B, C, D. B, C, D. Wala kang B. So, B, C, D. The elements are B, C, D. While, B minus A, mga element kang B nga wala kang A. So, I, O, U. I, O, U. Wala kang A. Okay. Okay. This is it. The activity 1. The required activity so, required si Ja. Kay mao ni si Ja injong answeran. So, you have no need to answer your module. Uh, just scan your module, review, uh, review. Uh, make, uh, uh, because all the things that can be found in your module are be, uh, ato nang gidiscuss diri. No? Gidiscuss. So, no need to answer your module. Uh, Make it a reference or kind scan, scan, review, try to ans, uh, try to uh, practice those uh, activities in the module, practice or kind. So, this one is the required activity. So, activity one. So, read this, sit, go. Instruction, you have to write your answer in a one, one whole sheet of paper. One whole then avoid any erasure so avoid any erasure so any form of it will automatically consider your answer as wrong so kindly show your solution so we have the given we have the universal set has an element of 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and we have set A is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We have set B is has an element of 2, 3, 4. Set C has an element of 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. And set D is an empty set. So this one, you have to find the number 1. The possible subset of sets A, B, and C. So pangitaon ni mo ang possible subsets ni A. Possible subsets ni B. Possible subsets may see. 
Number two is the cardinality of set. So, pangitaon ni mo kung unsay cardinality ni set A, cardinality ni set B, cardinality ni set C, or cardinality of set D. Number three is complement of sets. The complement of set A, pangitaon ni mo kung unsay complement ni set A, complement ni set B, complement ni set C, complement ni set D. Then number four, the union of set A and set C. Union of set A and set C. Or A union C. Number five is, <coughs> pangitaon na ito ang <coughs> the intersection of set A and set C. Intersection na po. Number four is union man sa kang A o C. Number five is the intersection. Then number six is you are going to find the difference of set A and set B. Set A and set B. Okay. So thank you, thank you, mga kamatlets. See you to our next video. Have a nice day and keep safe always. Bye bye.